And we have five freshmen that have no idea how to win a high-level game right now. And you got a coach who did a horrific job today, especially offensively. So that sets the stage for tonight, another home game for the Gators. They come in 1-1, one and one, ranked 15th in the country against the Colonial Athletic Association's Towson Tigers coming in at 2-1. and one. Your officials, Pat Adams, Ted Valentine, and R.B. Clyburn. Florida controls the opening tip in their home whites. Here's Blackshear, and Mike White wants the offense to run through number 24. Good patient, leading to penetration, open three, gate from behind the three. Towson starting five, led by number 23, Brian Fobbs, a first team all Colonial Athletic Association preseason member. Anxious to see, yeah, Rich, anxious to see how Florida will bounce back off the disappointment of the loss to Florida State on Sunday. And this is not an easy bounce back team. Quarter uh, court pressure, again, I think more tempo than turnover to make Florida play late in the clock. We saw number 23 in white, that's Scotty Lewis making his first career start in his third game with the Florida Gators. They like this offense, Rich, where they'll play through Blackshear. Good active hands with a back tip, another turnover. Again, which has plagued Florida through the first two games. Yeah, they had 16 turnovers against Florida State. You're not, giving, your, you're not giving yourself a chance to win when you turn it over without getting a shot. Uh, that's something that they have talked about ad nauseum in the last 48 hours. Here's 23 on 23. Bob's being guarded by Lewis. Eight on the shot clock for the Tigers. Freshman Charles Thompson put it on the deck, lost it, got it back. And a deep three in and out. Going to be very stingy in the half court. That's why both coaches in the shoot arounds today were imploring their teams to secure the glass, get out and transition because in the half court there's not a lot of space. Here's Nebhart. Gets it out to Johnson for three. Got it. Nim hard in the block at 6'5". He's got a size advantage. And obviously being the point guard, a terrific passer. And we saw that there to Keontae Johnson. Right now, Florida's defense, who is normally aggressive, beat you over the top. And then you've got to embrace the opportunity that the game has given you. If you're Florida, it's also simple. You've got to be efficient. You've got to play inside out. And you've got to team rebound the basketball. Once again, the shot clock in single digits. Five to shoot for the Tigers. Fobbs from the geek. He's got a chance to, to be an out. Now, so overall, he's very high on this team. He thinks they're tremendous. They've been very willing listeners early, which is always a great sign for a head coach. There's Lewis, tremendous athlete. Mike White and his staff did an outstanding job of getting him in a Florida Gator uniform, and you see that talent on display with a big-time drive and a left-hand finish. There's Ja'Kai Dock with seven on the shot clock. Good, strong drive. You can nice never speed. help up. The offensive series scoring late in the clock, right what Towson wants to do. Layup for Towson. There's Blackshear. A great facilitator for a big a step back. Looks like, man, how can he get that off? Not explosive athletically, but so skilled and has such a great understanding of how to play. Preseason SEC Player of the Year, ACC last year. And that's, he's showing you the whole thing with the tripe is over, go through the work. And we talked to Mike White at practice earlier today when we asked him, what are the keys? And the keys for him tonight are get that offense going inside out. What does he mean by that? Well, he wants to make Rue Blackshear inside. He's got great poise and he is an excellent passer. I honestly think that's what separates him from many bigs in the country is his ability to pass. So they want to play through him and trust his decision making in the half court. Blackshear's on the bench for a quick rest. In his place, number five, another heralded freshman, Omar Payne, with his first look. Great on the team. He's got length, he's got size, he's got strength, and now it's just a matter of garnering much needed experience. Number 10, Noah Lock on the floor as well. By all accounts, the best shooter on this team for Florida, but he has really struggled so far from the field. Yeah, two for 14, and that's his calling card. So if he's not making jump shots, one of the top three returning scorers for the Tigers. So to get opportunities on a on a new and Xavier is on the docket in Charleston when they get down there next week. You can see after every free throw or stoppage of play, Towson's going to throw that range of college basketball. Opportunities to score out of a set play. Denmark, work 
knocking the ball down into the post. He's very comfortable. Doesn't he look comfortable in his upper body? And he looks really comfortable with his back to the rim. First bucket of the game for Nebhart. Extends the Florida lead to four. With coming up on 14 minutes to go in the first half. Here's Jason Gibson. Pat Scary told me today at shoot around. Freshman from Nigeria. Uh, a monster on the rush defensive end. They plan to redshirt Jatobo, but they said he was one of the best players in practice. They couldn't put that redshirt on him. And Mike White raves about his touch, both inside and on the perimeter. He's got a huge size advantage here. Being patient, reposting. Drive, drift, now you're late in the clock. Florida's constantly playing late in the clock, but that's the guy you want to have it. He'll get a look at the basket. With two to shoot, Blackshear spins to his left and comes up empty. I wish you wouldn't have countered. Counters are overrated. Stay to your strength. There's that guy to, to catch to pass Skiri. Philosophy coming in. Score early, score late. If you have the opportunity in the open floor, take it. Great ball passed up that three-pointer. As we said, he's been struggling mightily from three-point range. Just two for 14 so far this season. I had the Kentucky Evansville game on Tuesday. I flew right here yesterday to spend some time with Mike and uh, they were preaching that the past be unselfish, help a teammate get open and Florida's done a good job of that early. We heard them shouting it to each other in practice earlier today as Locke is off the mark on his first shot. Bounds under his own basket. He gets it to black shoot. Love it, high right love back. question. A lot of toughness, and again, a lot of similarities to Florida State in the way in which they defend. As Petit Dotton is up in the jersey of Andrew Nebhart. The late in the clock again, you're under 10. They're playing spacing. Lock off the mark. Into the ball, which allowed Jatobo to get to the offensive glass. And how about this, AK? 13 points by the Gators. Six different players have scored. That's the epitome of sharing the ball, is it not? Towson's late in the clock as well. There's going to be nothing easy tonight. You're going to have to get something driving at the basket. With not three to shoot. Over Kevin Glover just was able to raise up at the end of the clock and bail him out. Interesting, only one assist so far for the Gators, despite the fact. From an Elite Eight appearance, uh, winning 27 games that year, he's really talented. Maybe his most talented team top to bottom here. Now it's just a matter of putting all the pieces together. Blackshear high post. Gives it up to the freshman Trey Mann, who's checked back in. Calls his own number, and yeah. it's way off the mark from three. And that kid is really talented in a game of horse. Him and Noah Locke, I'm not sure who. I air ball leads to a layup, I tell him. Now, Quez Glover tries from distance. Another no tough shot. Another tough shot. Face when he was an assistant <laughs> under you at Ole Miss. Listen, Mike worked for me five years. He, he went through the gamut of emotions, I can assure you. <laughs> Here's Fobbs again, the left. With that missing link, 15 to 17 foot pull up. He's strong, he got it through a strong hand. Good pull up. That mid-range game's a lost art. It is a lost art, and now moving back to three-point line, I think you're gonna see a little bit more of it in the future of the game. Right here, Mike was screaming to go through Blackshear. He got under the backboard. Nice save by number two in Black Allen. Beatran, who's caught back on the floor after hobbling off with an ankle injury earlier. Towson with the one-point lead. Ten minutes to go in the first half. They're, they're, see how much better they're doing with their ball movement. A little more confident. Early shaky. Withstood it. Now they're playing with some confidence. And they're going to end up getting a point-blank look at the end of the clock. They, they try to beat you off the pass versus the dribble. Uh, great spacing there. Ended up with an end-of-clock layup, which is exactly what you... Here's Dotton. Earlier this week to Kent State, 84-80, something that really plagued them last year. They had six losses, or rather nine losses, by six points or fewer, including two games in double overtime. They switched that ball screen easy. They have typically scored at the end of the clock. They just got to get a little bit of an offensive rhythm. I like the drive. I don't know why he went left-handed. Here. Maybe the most game expectation went up exponentially. Trey Blackshear, his left heel is almost always raised off the ground. What gives him that? Well, we talked to, to Coach White and the staff about it. You know, he had an injury his freshman year at Virginia Tech. They required surgery, and every once in a while, he has stiffness in that Achilles heel area. And as a result, I think it's more habit than any. Four times, I noticed that then you don't see it affect his play, of course. 
Rodgers. Johnson left alone. Top of Blackshear and Jabate at the, at the four five, and they're really, really big. Or he can go uh, Keontae Johnson at the four, where they're small. Right now, maybe they can put a spurt together. Good cut to the rim. Blackshear all line up better. I think Johnson at the four is a matchup nightmare, and I really like Blackshear when he's posting inside and they can play through him. To travel, not flinching though. And here's that press again. To try to get them out of a little bit of a rhythm. Deontay Johnson turns down the first look, which I think is the wise move. And now let's see what they can do in the half court. And thought about it. They swing it to Lewis from deep. Off the front. Minutes to go on the road against the 15th ranked Florida Gators. <laughs> Fouled out in his first game back against Kent State. This We're going year. up. What? Get it close. Deontay Johnson will do the rest. Now Florida regains the lead, 22-21. Deontay Johnson leading all scorers with eight. 7-0 run by the Gators. Here's Fox off the mark. And Mann wants to push. Ooh. A little Euro step by Trey Mann. Rolls four just based on some injury situations that they were going through. One coming up on six minutes to go in the first half. Thursday night basketball from Gainesville on ESPN2. Rich Hollenberg, Andy Kennedy from the Exec Tech Arena and the O'Connell Center to lead the Tigers in score. He is strong when he can catch it, wipe it, get to his spot. To, there's that mid-range pull-up again. Maybe not as great as I thought then. Maybe I should. It's off to a nine and one start. Commonwealth, now that he's back with the Boston Celtics. You wouldn't struggle on offense if he was on your team. No it's doubt. amazing how that works. Here's Fox. Senior versus freshman. Scotty Lewis has the makings of a lockdown defender. Oh, I hadn't seen him trap out of it yet. I'm sure they have that in their package. But they're just trying to slow Florida down, make them work with less time in the half court. Now Blackshear on the bench again. Omar Payne gets a touch. Mm, tough Lost pass. it on the deck. Hey, that, that's impressive for Omar Payne to save his freshman cohort, Scotty Lewis, from a turnover because that was a tough angle on that initial entry. No a bucket from distance. Nice look ahead from Gibson to Thompson, freshman to freshman. This is going to be a screen to screener for the ball screen and dive. There's Johnson. That's where he's really good. Great pivot. They talk, they've been talking about playing off two feet. Okay, play off two feet allows you to pivot and make a good play. Uh, leading the team, 14 points. Looks like the same action. It's the identical action last time. He's open, give him the ball. Great pass, great finish. That's potential. The three-point play, but he's got four in the game, and Florida's back up by one. It's pretty good when you're a basketball player. It's probably pretty tough at Joseph A. Bank. <laughs> Not buying off the racket, seven, five and a half. A little big and tall action for Omar <laughs> Payne. Yeah, he's gonna, he better make some money. He's gonna have to go custom. Selfish right there, which sometimes is being selfish. I know that sounds, I may be talking too fast for that to make sense. But right there, I would like to have seen him just throw a little floater in. Only the second turnover of the half for the Florida Gators. You know, they're from the Colonial League, which is one of the best mid-major leagues in the country that, that everybody realizes it's a one-bid league. Wow, there's got to be something right there, huh? No call there as Gibson and Payne went deck to deck. Gibson did a great job with the block out, but then he fell on him. Maybe they felt like it was, Payne couldn't have gotten to it anyway. we play on. Ten on the shot clock for Towson. High ball screen late in the clock. This kid is supposed to be a deadly shooter. Offensive-minded lately. Eight of their last ten field goal attempts have been made. More free throw attempts than you. It just shows they're more. Ranked 15th in the country are having this with 2.22 to go. Now they go back big. Now they've got Payne and Blackshear again. Versatility on this Florida team. They just have to establish an offensive identity. Blackshear off the mark from three. Here comes Gibson. Racing to the other end, and it was partially blocked by Blackshear. Two minutes to go in the half. One of the new rules, offensive rebound. Clock sets back to 20. Less time for the Gators to guard, and hopefully Towson understands now you're playing at under 10 in the clock. They're going high ball screen. Five to shoot. Gibson, a lot of dribbling with two to go. He's not. Freshman at a Severna Park, Maryland. Now 
Blackshear mid post. Thompson. Two feet in the paint Thompson. against the freshman Thompson. Comes up short. Thompson doing a good to the middle. Now coming up on a minute to go, what would you like to see Thompson do to get a bucket? Well, I don't mind that because this kid is a really good shooter. Uh, it wasn't a bad look. A guy that's making around 46% early in his career from three. They have been really impressive defensively of not giving Florida anything easy. Blackshear from the corner. Still can't connect from three. Offensive rebound in the... They got a two-for-one opportunity as you see shot clock, game clock. I don't like that. Ball screen at about eight. Here it comes. Let Nimhart play downhill. I like the move. It's going to end in a layup. Good finish to the half. Fine. As a coach, you really want to stress quality of shot, but then ultimately you've got to play to your recruiting rankings and step up and make some plays. And right out of the opening tip, with the Towson Tigers controlling, Pat Scary is livid on the sidelines. Here's Beatran for three. Hard shot. Gives them an opportunity in the open four, which you have not seen very often. Quick shot from Mann off the mark from game. He was only one for five, and he's 0 for today. It's not a terrible shot if he has seen it going in. But but under the circumstances, I'm not sure that's what you want. Here's the lob to Tunstall. That is the guy who is guarding the screener. He didn't get checked, just like we saw with Florida in the first half. Court awareness early in this game has been an issue for both teams. Now Lewis Trot has the first three points of the second half for Florida. Well, I think that's going to be one of many in his career here. I'm sure he's going to breathe a sigh of relief, having seen it gone in the basket for the first time as a Florida Gator from behind. They're going to flinch back to back. You hit one, I hit one. We're not going anywhere. That's the message sent. They go inside to Lewis. Guarded by fellow number 23, senior Brian Fox. You notice he has a size advantage as it relates to height and length, but as he was trying to body his way closer. And go. Now Tumstall tries from three. Tough look. It's in the first half. High ball screen roll. Replace. He's open right there. I would have loved Trey Mann to go high low. Lewis, back in 2011, Scotty Lewis has the first couple of buckets in the second half for UF. Tuck to the hole. I'd like to see Johnson really running. Good pitch there to the other freshman, Trey Mann, with a finish. In Gainesville, that five was. But it seems like that was a long time ago. Towson led for the majority at the end of the half. Good spurt here out of the locker room by Florida, led by these sensational freshmen. And you know what? A four-point lead feels like a 14-point lead at this point. Well, they, I, I know this. I know that they're not going to give you anything easy. Good penetration pitch right there. But as we had talked about all game, Bob's is more of a mid. That scary calls Nikai Sanders sleep. Uh, display and a knife would give you a little twist at the end. Gators with a two point lead. Back screen here, point guard to Blackshear. I don't know why you give up on that so early. Again, let's get to your power hook. Blocked by Gray. And out in transition, here come the Tigers. And they threw it away. And survey. Turn the ball. You don't want to hold it. Blackshear on the drive. Show Switch it. Now carry Blackshear, the first to double digits for the Gators. He's one rebound shy of his third straight double-double. Good shot fake by Gibson. Can't knock it down. Another rebound. And He's done a good job scouting report-wise of transfer since they allowed graduate students to transfer. 16th career double-double after a standout four years at Virginia Tech in the ACC. Get time out. Where is Pat Scary going to go for a basket? If it's not Fobbs, they really hadn't had consistent scoring from anyone else. If you listen very carefully when Andy Kennedy is on a telecast, he will always drop a subtle backstreet for his reference. Well, you know, hey, listen, they were very instrumental in my development. <laughs> <laughs> great drops and score early, score late. They're doing a great job of sticking to the script. Now with Blackshear on the bench, what does Mike White want to do offensively? Well, you can see it's five out, but I would throw that thing to Omar Payne just like there. Score it, son. Payne with the right to a strong hand. ESPN number 41 is rated by our crack staff, led by Paul B. and Cardi. But he's playing like a top 10 guy. Played his high school ball at Montverde. 
Or Cade Cunningham, who's going to be going to Oklahoma State next year's start. Oh, wow. Precious Achua looking for the three-point to go in the second half. They've answered every call. Offensively, Florida, much better rhythm in the second half. Good ball movement here. You talking extra. There's a nice extra. Now, that's a good shot. Trip was a little slow. I, I thought his feet, and he may have been surprised with the skip. Nimhart with the right decision, and that's a good shot. Those, that's a shot that that young man will make in a high volume later in his career. Here's Juwan Gray. Gives it up to Beatran. Ten on the shot clock for Towson. Tough shot. Lane. Towson back up by one, under 13 minutes to go. Wide open, Johnson. He's uh -huh. Keeping his Towson Tigers close. Pat Curie is calling for a five to one ball screen switch. I saw the five and the one. If they get into a ball screen, I imagine they will switch it high. Train in rhythm and knocked it down. So three threes for the Florida Gators in this half. They had two or four all game against Florida State. They're gonna go at the freshman in the mid post. That's a subtle if you with Andrew Nimhart. I wish you wouldn't have picked his dribble up, but you still got it. Those were the those were the plays they were not making Sunday. They are making them tonight. Down the triple a moment ago. I wish his feet were a little more set. I love his release. I'm afraid his feet are not quite ready. In his shot preparation. Here's Tom. Down he is field goal. Back screen, we've seen this action. Now it's going to go high to low. Is open. Now this is where you got to work. I wish you would not have given that up so quickly because now you put the freshman in a tough spot. Got bailed out. A lot of times when you're coming off a disappointing loss, most especially see these guys relax and get into the flow of the game. Fob sets to check back in for Pat Scary. He's the leading scorer for the Tigers. Give it to him. Throw the hook. Oh, inside out. Extra pass, and then hard for three. The game's just yet, but he's a guy who I think has taken that hitch out of his shot, and it looks smooth on his release. And believe it or not, the lead is five for Florida. That's their largest lead of the game. Bounce now right in front of his head coach, saying, Coach, settle in, man. We're not going anywhere. Good lob inside from Johnson. The building gets a little better. Couple of veterans, Sanders and Blackshear. Florida doing a good job of digging themselves, not allowing Towson to turn the ball. The entire set stayed on one side of the floor. That's good. Guess what? Six points out of it. Yeah, it doesn't take a genius to realize you want to play through a guy who's big and talented offensively. Great drive right is Lamar Jackson that he was booed in his return to MSG. Shocking. Well, yeah, it's amazing. Fans love you, win or win. Four on the shot clock. Fox. Basket in the second half, and boy, did they need that. Towson within one. Eight minutes to go in the contest. I don't like Blacks for standing in the corner. Get back to that block, son. Charge. Plus six in rebounds to this point in the game. Here's Dotton. He leads the scorers with 11. Great execution. Great execution by Tom. Whistle for his third foul of the contest. We're going to let you be tied with the under eight to play. Would you take it? Every time. Absolutely. Twice on Sunday. Good penetration pitch. Noah Locke. We haven't said his name much tonight, have we? Well, he hasn't had many buckets to score. The struggles continue for who is arguably the best shooter on this Florida team, Noah Locke. Blackshear gets it back. And here come the Gators. Sanders pursuing that ball off the offensive glass. Little contact play on. 
And it's a rebound by Blackshear. Inside out, easiest way to get it open three. They have just continued. I wouldn't get away with throwing it inside because Omar Payne has been very efficient all night. Ten to shoot for the Tigers. Now five on the shot clock. B Trent baseline. The floater out excellent by Towson. Towson back up to balance scoring from Pat Scary's Tigers. B Tram with 11. Now we're in his own. Dotton has 11. Fobbs has 12. 10 Florida answer. Lock. Oh. Shot. Noah Lock. First make from beyond the three point line in five attempts for Noah Lock. And it couldn't have come at a better time. Wow. Sophomore out of Philadelphia, Alan Beatran gives the Tigers back the lead by two. He much more aggressive off the dribble. Got is on the bench with the player, but he had a hitch in his shot. I don't see that now. It looks much cleaner. How about this for exciting? 18 lead changes in this game between Florida and Towson. Coming up on five minutes to go. Towson is best when the ball changes side. Got to get some ball movement initially. Here's Lewis. He's had a good second half. Get Settled in your hand. It's just a half. their last nine from the strike. One, three, one for the Gators. Good change of defense. Took points or fewer, including two in double overtime. Are we headed there again? Playoff two feet. Great pivot by Keontae Johnson. I wish he would have given that up, but he got where he wanted. Now we got a three on two the other way. Great drive by Fobbs, but he comes up empty. And the save by the Gators. Great save by Omar Payne. Get it to Nimhart. Towson's done a good job all night of getting back in transition D. Now it's about execution for the Gators in the last four minutes. They like this matchup. Johnson wants it. He's got it on the baseline. Good double. And a great defensive effort by Nakai Sanders forcing the turnover. Taking too much time on that matchup with your Keontae Johnson. You got to attack quicker. All night against the Towson Tigers, but the Tigers have responded within one of the 15th ranked Gators coming up on three minutes to go from Gainesville. Playing through Blackshear now back in the game. Great move right there by the freshman. Finish at the rim. Scotty Lewis is having himself a half. B Tran can't answer. We're gonna screen for the for the big who is going to set a ball screen. Nimhart tries to throw it from his hip. Active hands by Towson leads to a turnover. Looking to avoid a second consecutive upset on their home floor by a non-conference opponent. 1-3-1 one, one again. Not allowing. You can see Towson a little uncomfortable. Now we're at eight in the clock. We score best player on this Towson team, number 23 in black. Ball goes to the corner. They will get out of it. Great extra pass by Towson. Their matchups. Towson makes the extra one, and they cash in. Now Towson back and a little three two-point drop zone. We are tied again at 60. Blackshear still open if you give it to him from the top. But Scotty Lewis says, this is my half. Touch ball. 90 seconds to go from Gainesville. Fox, strong tick. Counting down to one minute to go. Tied at 60. Blackshear. They got it right into 13 rebounds for the preseason player of the year in the SEC. For Beatran or Fobbs off the bounce. Here's the freshman Gibson. Beatran with 10 on the shot clock. They're going Fobbs, and let's see if he can get to his left hand. Late in the clock. Now three to shoot. Has Beatran. not made a three this year. Not the shot that Pat Scary wanted. And the Gators come away with it in Emsville. Make it a two possession game. Trying to come down with a stop and a rebound, but if you're Towson, you don't have to settle, and that is a settle. Two bad shots from a good. But he has not made one. But now you're at a two possession. Lead. Ten seconds to go. That three-pointer is off the mark. That'll do it. Florida controls, and they escape.
with a 66-60 win over the Towson Tigers. Florida will improve to two and one on the season. They will head to Storrs, Connecticut to take on the Yukon Huskies on Sunday. Towson takes on 20th ranked Xavier in the opening round of the tournament.